Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Need for Speed Unbound Volume 7, known as the Drift and Drag Update. Rather than starting out in a race or an event or in a link up or any sort of thing, I decide that I want to start out with a demonstration. The big headline is a new improved handling model, particularly for drifting, with especially the introduction of the Drift Pro tires. So I am doing this on hard mode with a wheel without force feedback because force feedback doesn't work with wheels in this game. I don't know. So let us try to do this uh, drift zone real quick. And immediately with the drift pro tires, the rear tires are kind of like acting like they're on those lunch trays. It's kind of a weird sensation where even in a straight line, they have zero grip whatsoever. You can see, like, even as you're trying to lay down some knots, it's like struggling to... Yeah. Kind of weird there. But the one thing that I've noticed with this is, especially with the Fnatic GT DD Pro, is that the smaller the movements, the better. For whichever reason, if you try to do even like 90 degrees, it'll try to really just spin out. So less than even that, you know, I wasn't doing anything more than 45 degrees there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's unique. And I know that some individuals have been asking for this new handling model for who knows how long because they want to do these really long and elaborate flowing drifts i know it's just going to take me some time to get used to it but man is it just difficult <laughs> uh the other thing that i was going to note too was that when you were trying to do the drift zone it is super easy to get just absolute massive points the only issue, though, is that you're doing it so much slower than before. What was also interesting, too, is that when I first logged in, the actual handling model itself has really changed, even when you're not going like a full drift build, because what my car is used to be like full drift build, but all of a sudden, like their grip versus drift is now only at 66% drift versus what used to be 100%. And I'm struggling for any of those cars to really get like a good drift going anymore. It's like you, in order to do any drifting whatsoever, you need drift pro tires. But not only that, when you get drift pro tires, it actually locks the grip versus drift tuning myth, uh, menu. It just locks it to what I imagine is 100% drift. So as I'm talking here, like we're not gonna finish this like in time at all. Yeah, we're just out of time now. So that's kind of an interesting thing that I've noticed is that the drifting is definitely gonna need to take some getting used to, especially with a wheel. In these long, elaborate kind of drift zones, you really got to focus more on speed than you do on the drifting, which is, again, interesting. So one of the interesting additions to the drift and drag update is using... This update has been mainly inspired by Need for Speed Underground 2, which is amazing for a lot of different reasons. I won't say specifically Underground 2 because there are some additions in like in some of the PvP uh, modes. You can actually race against Eddie's Skyline from Underground 1, but of course, from Underground 2, the Nissan 370Z owned by Rachel, which is amazing. Uh, they kind of, in a weird way, I feel like they went a little bit most wanted with this, where you can part of the underground league is what they're calling it is that you have to complete certain challenges to be able to race against 
like certain people part of you know you'll see familiar faces like waru and medusa and ross which were individuals that you would have raced against in like the story mode and whatnot and we don't see anything yet because it'll be live next week the first round so i think for this first week you can actually just kind of complete these basic little challenges to unlock them for next week so we'll touch on that maybe a little bit later but interesting very interesting change there's something a little bit more single player focused in the lakeshore online so one of the things like i was saying before like the handling model being completely different is that now with grip build cars especially with like this like the tycon which has got insane acceleration insane grip anyway but it, now it being a grip build it's it's crazy so I'll kind of doing an example here so like coming off the line like that's crazy that kind of steering response it's like what in the world <laughs> so it makes doing drifts a little bit more difficult and uh, in all honesty i actually don't mind the snappiness of the steering because when you get to like s and s plus level kind of races one of the big issues that i would always have is like when it got to higher speeds you hit like a tiny bump and it would send your car violently one way or another so having this amount of response in a grip build i'm actually quite okay with all right so we are on our now fifth run for the drift event and i have swapped the controller because i am still trying to figure this out so doing kind of mashing the brake and the pelt together and then like normal we try to get our perfect rpm now it's interesting because the game just kind of it's trying to emulate underground 2 when it came to the drift event where it would like choose a lane you'd stay in the lane and you just kind of go the issue is is that whatever kind of weird ai that they've got going on right now that chooses the lane instead of it making sense and just keeping you in the lane that you started like no matter what you do it's like i think it just auto assigns you to a different lane based on how many people are in the lobby so it's completely throwing the race for me which is incredibly dumb uh, i'm so disappointed because i was so excited for the drift event but it's just to be fair i haven't tuned this car to be drag so i could most definitely be the other thing but it's just it just doesn't make sense to use a wheel at all like if you touch any steering input whatsoever it, it just freaks out so i don't i don't know odd and i of course do want to bring up the fact that also with this update as all these updates go the brand new cars are the 2023 bmw m3 competition touring and then of course the 2024 ford mustang dark horse and with the last update i kind of had to get the premium speed pass because it had the uh audi rs6 rs7 avant and that one's a really cool car i like that quite a bit but with this update it's uh, i don't know this update just is a little bit different for my taste I, again i really wanted to enjoy the drift and the drag racing on it I think I'll have to just come back with, you know, a fresh set of eyes coming back with n when I'm not on the wheel and try to get like a good uh, party together and try to try that out. But uh, it's just first impressions. It's just really odd. It's I was really excited to try it out for the first time, but it's just it's not what I expected. It's just not. 
So let me know all what you guys think down in the comment section down below. If you guys are in agreement that maybe not disappointment is the right adjective, but maybe a little bit of confusion. Uh, it's just a very unique update, and I really hope to take some more time to dive into it a little bit deeper. Maybe create a follow-up video at some point in time, really discussing, you know, what I've learned since this first impressions, but it's just different. So, again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.